I'm here with AJ Dudley, the founder and a developer and writer here of Ravencrest. And I just wanted you to see this booth because everything is so on point for your brand. I love it. And I want to talk about the book that kicked it all off. So tell us about that, AJ. Thank you so much for coming over. Um, yes, the book that started all of it, it's uh, historical fiction, takes place in the early 1500s, which is really gave it its theme. Um, it has characters like Martin Luther, Bishop Fisher, Thomas More, really cool people, um, but a, a bit of fictional story and uh, full of romance and adventure and really good stuff. So um, that was the beginning of it. Um, our we're heading to movies with it, so that's the next place. And um, right now, we've been taking on other authors that have really powerful, beautiful stories, too. So we have more coming out. We're a brand new company, really, just put our, our stuff out this year. So, yeah. so how did you find time to do the book? You're a busy mom, foster, you have foster child, you're in a farm, I think you said, yeah? Yes, yes. We have a horse farm where we do ministry in Lynchburg, Virginia. We have five kids. We've done foster care. We uh, just, we, my husband's a professional athlete, so we travel the country and do all his stuff. So it's very busy. Um, but, you know, when God gives you a calling, he, he just makes a way for it to happen. So. so how did this all evolve? Like, I love, like, the tabletop and everything. So how did that all come, part of the historical fiction? Yeah, I wanted to keep the theme. It's called Ravencrest, and that's the, that's the group that meets in this. And I wanted to keep kind of that rustic y 1500 sort of theme. And so I had the guy who runs maintenance on our farm. I said, you got to build me a table. <laughs> I want one I could take with me everywhere. So, yeah, we just um, just kind of set the stage for that. I think our heart is for, is for film and so much uh, of really creating the feel of what, you know, what the stories are, just making it much more, more than words. So we wanted everything about what we do. And now story. historical fiction, is, it's a tough genre because you've got to know your facts but then you also have to have the imagination. So tell me a little bit about that process. Well, about eight years of research, uh, and, uh, about six weeks on the Isle of Man, where, is, where the story takes place, um, to just get launched with the first book and feel like I wasn't an, an idiot about the topic. So it, it's a lot of it was a lot of work, a lot of back background um, to make it really accurate. But I I, I loved it and. Um, it was worth it. I think it was really worth it because it, when you, if you were to go there, if you go walk through the Isle of Man and you read the story, you feel like you're on the, you're, you're like I'm here inside of the story. So I think um, being authentic with history and you're doing a historical fiction, you, you better get it, get your stuff straight. Yeah. And uh, some of the characters you mentioned, Martin Luther, the the other religious characters there, that's also some tension to represent in um, the first book here. So how did you approach that? Um, I think part of it is, and any, I guess anytime you're writing, you, uh, you want to be able to relate to every one of your characters and you want the audience to be able to. So you have to go there. Where, what was their heart? Not judging them, but saying, what were your heart in this? And why did you do what you did? And what would the relationship have looked like with other people that love you? And I think all of us know we are in relationship to the people we love we don't agree with right. and that do things that infuriate us, <laughs> but we still love them. And so how do you, um, so having a fellowship of people that 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 knew each other, that, that as brothers, you know, in Christ, you know, would have loved each other, but then this tearing apart, um, it's kind of understanding the dynamic of what that looks like in, in today in our real relationships. And all of them, like as, as, far as, the, as follows the story, the, that's the background, in, that's the context that it takes place in, but it really follows the story of these members of this, these fictional characters. So a tutor's son and a princess and their redemptive stories and um, really all the emotion that goes around that. And so it has to be stuff that um, people today in their life today would relate to. That's so beautiful. Thank you for sharing that. I'm, I'm interested, so this is a two part question. So the book, who's your target audience for that? And then tell us a little bit more about how you spread out into these other avenues of business. Okay. Um, target audience would be adults. Um, it's a very clean book, but it, it, there's, it's, there's a lot of violence in that time period and a lot of things that are more adult, you know, concepts. So um, I would say more adults. Uh, it's a faith book. So, and I said, it's clean, but um, as far as launching from that, our heart was that we know that this book, people read it and they come back and they say, I never knew that God really loved us that much. I never really knew how to pray like that. Or I, I never thought about, you know, anointing with oil or I never thought like they have these experiences in reading it that they see in the context of the story and their personal stories get changed. And that's, 
really that's what we want. And so we said, well, if there's other authors who are bringing us stuff that we said, when people read your book, their life will be changed. So that became the theme of our publishing company is that if I get something in that I think it's a powerful story, it's going to be redemptive for the reader and change their life, then I want to publish it. And we said, we're building, we're, we're launching into YouTube um, videos and interviews and um, podcasts. And the heart is really to build a platform for people who have a story that's powerful to come stand on it and hand them a microphone. So that's, it's so beautiful and so beautiful for you to share this with other people of faith, other people who, who just have a, a beautiful story to tell. So thank you so much. And thanks for your time, AJ. You're welcome. Beautiful thanks for work. coming.